update. Anything happened? All right. With a woman, how do you know when she wants you to put the moves on her? You know, you talk a little bit. You get to know their personality. You get to know what they're like. Well, you know? help the kids at home. Help the young men at home who are having trouble with women. What's the... What, give Just them a little... Just go for it. There, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for Just it. Just go for it. He went from being a game show contestant to a game show host. Mark DiCarlo is probably best known as the host of uh, the dating show Studs, but he's also been a stand-up comedian for years. Currently the voice of... Hugh Neutron on the cartoon series Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. He's got a oh, new yeah. book. It's called A Fork on the Road, 400 Cities, One Stomach. He's done some TV on the Travel Channel, right? You just it? go for it. Finish the interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just introduce me and I'll tell you all about it, dude. Just go for it. I used to love that show, Studs. And then it was it was here and there, gone in a blink. What happened? That's a great show. I it was. It. We were actually rated number one in our, our time slot. Yeah. And then um, Fox decided that it was too racy for TV. And Fox, they pulled Fox it. decided wow. it was too racy. Someone, the story I've, I've always heard is that someone married to someone very, very, very uh, high in the food chain thought it wasn't Catholic and, and Christian enough to, uh, to be on the air. Which is ironic because I, I came from a Catholic school here in town. I went to yeah. Bennett Academy. Yeah. I got wow. Catholic. Ooh, look, it's coming out I of I see. I got, yeah. I, we, we both have it. You can see. Yeah. See, so Cubs just, fan? Sox I'm a, fan? What? I'm a Cubs fan. Yeah? Yeah. I'm a big Cubs fan, and I know why the Cubs haven't won. Since 1908. Yeah. Does Tom Ricketts watch this show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. for sure. Tom, wake up. <laughs> I know you're a numbers guy. The Cubs haven't won since 1908, and here's why. You got Billy Williams' flag and Ron Sano's flag separate. They need to be on the same flagpole. They need to be on the left field flagpole uh -huh. because they played together more games than any set of professional baseball players in history. Huh. They started together in double-A ball. They played their, basically their whole careers together. And now you've got them separated mm. right. and they're on the wrong side of the field. Yeah. Billy and Ronnie deserve to be on the left field pole. You move Rhino and Ernie to the, to the right field pole, I which is the it. side of the, inter the, the yeah. they play. And who cares where you put the pitchers? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Do this and I guarantee you we, we'll be watching this clip in October saying... <laughs> The guy was right. That's right. Mark it just, down. Just do yeah. it. Yeah. Rick, just do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> just, just trust me, bro. Move the flags. It's no big deal. Hey, tell us about your road trip. Uh, if, uh, tell us about a, a gem you found on, a the, on the road. Well, I, I did the Travel Channel show for uh, 400 cities all mm. over the country. And um, I was spoiled because I grew up in an Italian family here in Chicago. Yeah. So I, always, I thought that everybody's grandmother made the best food in the world. And we were up in... Um, Madison, Minnesota, one time at Ludafisk Festival. Oh, anyone what? had Ludafisk? What's that? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. disgusting. It's, it's awful. It is. It's white fish <laughs> in, in kerosene or something. What? Right? Kerosene would be an improvement. It's lye. Lye. Yeah, oh, the stuff yeah. they make lye, batteries right. out of. Yeah. They bury it in lye for three or four days. Yeah. Then they bake it, and then they serve it with like a buttery something on it. Have you ever had whale snot? <laughs> <laughs> Because, no. uh, well, then I, I have no benchmark to... It's, it, way to sell the book, by the yeah. way. Yeah, really. If you want some whale snot, the recipe is in here. Um, that was pretty, uh, pretty nasty. Uh, I, I find good fruitcake. There's monks in Trappist, Kentucky that make actual palatable, delicious oh, uh, fruitcake. Huh. And uh, uh, the best uh, pizza in the country, of course, comes from here. Can I just, just show, I know I'm still going back to the studs thing and you probably want to move on. But just you move got, on, dude! You got started because you were actually a contestant on Sale of the Century. I think we have that clip. You, oh, do you really? Uh, we, Are you we did, but we don't. They told me we had uh, it NBC and now we don't. Play. Yeah, I, I, I had just graduated from UCLA. I'm flat broke. I go on Sale of the Century. I was on for 11 days in a row. I'm the all-time champion ever. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I, I, I won over $100,000. I was 20 years old. So I never had to get a real job, and I could go right into, and then I started doing show business, and then I did studs right after that. It was got your start on the Bozo Show. I think we have that. I photo. did. We, right here. The last time I was in this studio, at twenty five hundred one West Bradley Place. Look at that. Where are you? I, I'm the guy in the top hat and the red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm wearing my. I'm all uh, farthest to the right as we're looking at it. It was wow. my. It was my birthday. Here's what they used to do. Yeah. They, they you, you know, you send away for tickets. So right. My mom was pregnant. She got the tickets. I end up, we end up going on June 23rd, my birthday. They ask you beforehand, whose birthday is it? And they, and they must write it down. Yeah. Because then they would pick with the tips mm -hmm. and the tips only of the magic arrows, yeah. someone right. to play the game. They picked me. So Boza was fixed. They <laughs> picked me and we did a balloon toss with some punky kid who dropped the balloon and we didn't win. Oh. Fixed.
Is there a way I can get it like a redo or something? <laughs> no, but you know what? If you want to take a picture in the cafeteria, the wallpaper is still the same. <laughs> Just go ahead in there and it, you, you, be like you never left. <laughs> you can meet Mark DiCarlo Sunday. He'll be signing copies of uh, his book at the Chicago Travel and Adventure Show at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center in Rome. Just go, dudes. Just go there on Sunday. It'll be awesome. Good to see you, Mark. Thanks for having me, guys. Great to see you. Thanks. Great to see you.